My name is Jack Talbert and I work for a company called United Renewable Power and Electric. If you're watching this particular videotape, I'm assuming that you have a signed confidentiality statement, a non-disclosure agreement, and that you have the packet of information that works as a concord to this video presentation. Behind me is the magnetic wavefront generator as we have built it so far. This is an operating model that proves our theory. This is not the final product. This is the first step in our prototyping stage. But we have enough additional energy that we can run. This is a 100 watt light and then these are some 40 watt fluorescent tubes, 60 watt actually fluorescent tubes. But I can run additional loads and I can run the additional loads for a longer period of time with the modification I made. Give her a throw. The uh, alternator is running. Everything sounds normal at this point and seems to be normal. I'm going to add in my additional loads right now. On the trimetric, we're running right at 24 volts, which is what was expected. We're drawing 26 amperes. Well, we, uh, about 25 amperes. When we add in our additional load, then we run additional amperes. It's drawing more energy to run these loads. It also affects voltage. We're using voltage and increasing the amperage. I shut off my additional load. And we're back to our uh, 26 volts. Now that you've had the opportunity to see the generator test that we conducted earlier, hopefully you uh, understand what I was trying to accomplish with that. The uh, intent was to demonstrate can we get more capacitance out of batteries or any electrical input source because the generator setup can run from any electrical input source. Can we increase that? capacitance by recycling that waveform and everything we've done today says yes. Now, the future. That's why you have been invited to view this particular video presentation today. What we need to do in the future is more of this same research. We need to create a 10 kilowatt generator. The 10 kilowatt model is actually a big 10 kilowatt AC alternator. Now there's information that's provided that goes along with this video presentation and I would ask you to please read through it. Now, one of the advantages that we're theorizing, and this is why we need to complete our research, is that there is a particle C contained within a vacuum. So once we create the vacuum and create magnetic eddies, we should be able to get substantial gains over what we're doing now. The gains that we have just with our models that we have in drag coefficient energy output are 4, 10, and 12 fold of that which anything on the market today or that we know of that's planned to come to the market has. The next model is way over the top. It's new. It's something entirely new. And we, we can't, we are looking at a wall that's 100 stories high right now and we can't see over it. All we know is that all of the research that we've done to date indicates that as each model is made, 
progressively and we take out more drag coefficient and add in additional waveform patterns, the total energy is increased. We literally cannot see over the wall. We will not know until we build a model. What the future holds? Automobiles that can have a single 24 volt absorptive glass map battery and run 400 miles between charges at 60 miles per hour, highway speeds. What the future holds? Houses that you can run a 10 kilowatt load from the commercial power grid for $25 per month. That's using Kansas standards, assuming about a 30 cent kilowatt hour, but around in there about $25 per month. So I very much appreciate your time. I hope that you learned what we've done today, what we're currently working on, and what we plan to do in the future. We want the future to be something that we create. The future is what we collectively make of it. And I would like your support in helping to guide the future to one where we have clean and renewable sources. The day of cheap fossil fuels, that's gone. We need to find something else. Thank you.